<laughs> What's going on, baby? Need new water. And did y'all give me uh, eggs? We're gonna go back there and check today. Right, let me get them some food right quick. They look like they need some food. Get them some snacks. And we get them some water. Check the eggs. So we got their food in. Got to change their water out. About to check for these eggs right quick. And see, this is what I like about this. You just lift this up now. Ooh. And there they go. Whoa, look at the size of that one. And look how many eggs they put in there. Yep. So now we got a nice little area for all the eggs to go. And all I got to do now is just flip it up like that. Flip it back down and they'll go back in. That's a big egg. Look at the size of that. All right. So we got a good six eggs today. Oh, if I can get them up. Put them inside of here for now. All right. Take the water. Give them some new water. Oh, we need a taller door. But six eggs, that was easy to get to them, much easier than the old way. I think it worked out well. All right, let me get, get them some water and then we'll get on a hike. All right, so we got them clean water. We got six eggs out of the cage, out of their little home last uh, from last night. We got them some food, and now they chilling. They doing good. All right, so this is gonna work. I think I'm gonna end up putting something down on the inside of there, so then I just walk around in mud. I probably end up putting down a straw or something like that. What up, baby? How you doing? Yeah, they be so happy. It seems like they're happy at least. Good fresh water, huh? Yes, it is. They're doing so good. But I think I need to put something down on the ground so it's not like they're walking in mud. But they like running their nose in the mud, so I don't mind it. But uh, I guess they do have an area over here where they can come and get dry. But they're enjoying themselves, it seems like. Ain't ya? They're doing good. All right, so we about to get out here on this walk. All right, sir. Good morning, Shaw. I got the company over there. I'm doing a morning walk as well. Don't pick you up some, but I know he watched the morning video, so what's going on with you? <clears throat> At least he told me that last time I ran into him. So, I saw him this morning. Don't know if he saw me. But, hey, we out here this morning, y'all. Another beautiful morning. Hey, it's cold out. But it's a beautiful day, like the sun is shining. I mean, it, it looks warmer than it is. And uh, to me, that's still a good thing. It's a pretty day, it's just a little cool out. But once we get to moving, we're gonna warm right on up. It's gonna get much colder than this, so we're gonna have to get ready for something. And really, I'm gonna have to start wearing something other than these work gloves out here too. Because, well, these work gloves are not meant to keep your fingers warm. Especially if you're playing around with water. 
They do keep the water off your hands. It's water resistant, not waterproof. That means they go through the seams. Especially if you let it sit in the water too long or let the water get over it too much. It's inside the glove. Hey, yesterday was bad, y'all. I walked home all day yesterday with a, a squeaky right boot. Like every step I took, my foot was squeaking. I'm so much water being inside my boot. Ooh, I did not like that feeling. <laughs> Especially not with it being cold water. Like ice cold? Hey, I did not go skating last night. Nope. Decided to take a break. I just sat up. I massaged my knee. I mean, my leg. And then I'm getting ready to hit the pool this morning. I'm going to get a good stretch in. So, decided to give my leg a break. My knee, just a tad bit. I'm still out here doing my thing. My knee feels great, though. So, I felt like it was no reason to overexert it. Plus, I watched the Bengals game yesterday. I was pretty excited about that. They did, they did very well. I mean, hey, Nixon, <laughs> that man is a monster. I'm happy for him. They are finally playing like a team that they should, like they are. And I'm proud of that. Yeah, we're going to have down days. We're going to have bad moments. But overall, this team is playing exceptionally well. So I don't feel like they're getting bullied around. Hey, what I'm saying is what I love more than anything about this new dynamic of this team. Hey, at least they got the commentators respect now. And what I'm saying is it felt like back in the day, they used to talk about the Bengals like, I don't know, but it was kind of like nobody had respect for them. Now it's like, ugh, we've underestimated them for so long and here they are. No, they underestimated themselves for so long. And now here they are. <laughs> you getting some talent out there that know what they can do. Hey. And people who were never given a chance before. Hey, what I'm saying is, I talk about this quarterback and say how special of a kid he is. But he a grown man. I don't mean to call him a kid. But check this out. This man spread the field for nine receivers. Nine receivers. How? That's what a commentator said. I ain't paying attention like that. I don't even rock with football like that. Hey, I felt like our old quarterback, you get two. Two good ones, maybe a third every once in a while. You had A.J. Green and whoever else was on the field. And that's why we would get killed. Double down on A.J. Green. Then you got, what, Boyd? He a threat, but he ain't the first look. Now, everybody a first look. <laughs> I feel like field gets scanned. And he got a good hand. What I'm saying is, I called him a boy, but that boy is the man. He running things right now. I feel like he the one pulling that team in the right direction. Hey, he built from something different. I be feeling like, hey, that knee, that's gonna cause him some problems. Hey, but what I'm saying is, he looked like he can, like, he looked like he got scared a little bit, but he came back, did his thing. I'm saying, some quarterbacks will be like, hey, just take me out the game. Kind of like I did last night. <laughs> I ain't go roller skating because I wanted to, you know, let my knee rest up. Uh-huh. But it's okay. Because the next time I go, uh-huh. I'm going to let all that energy out. Actually, I'm cool with going skating one day a week. But I love the fact that I can go more. But I feel like I really only need to go one day. I burn up a lot of energy on the floor. Oh yeah. I always leave it. And I be sore. <laughs> hey. But I get home and I be mad because I be wanting some more. That's one thing I feel like I can't keep up with. I can skate forever, even when I was young. I skated so much that I would make my legs hurt. I'm talking about, I almost had to go to the, well, 
Yeah, I almost had to go to the emergency room one time because I overworked my legs too much. Oh yeah. And that's why now when I go skating, I put in like a solid hour, that's it. Maybe, no, I say I could do two. I could do two. But I don't try and be there from open to close. Cause boy, that's just too much activity for one, one day of skating. I pretty much try and hit every beat that the DJ dropped. I'm saying, that's a workout if you was just doing step aerobics. Try and do, pick up your feet and put down your feet to the beat of a song while keeping your balance. And I try and do that for the whole time I'm out there. To me, that's working on my balance, my legs, my breathing, everything, just like this. Ooh. Hey, when I saw that dog, got me thinking like that get me back in my mind in the wrong places right that didn't even make sense you know what i'm saying get my mind in i couldn't even get it right a second time it means let's drop that it's normal place that i stop at <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, I'm feeling good this morning. I can't wait to go swim. I got some errands on my run before I go to the pool because since this is like a day where I'm being a rush for nothing, I can run my errands however I want. I normally get gas on the day, get my car washed on the day, shoot, pay my bills on the day, clean the shop on the day, and do my yard work. That's how it go. That's what I use Mondays for. Hey, boy, that's an extra productive day now, ain't it? What I'm saying is, that's how it's gotta be. And to me, this is still my day to relax. That's crazy. My favorite day out the week. Monday, by far, has always been my favorite day out the week. I don't know why. But even when I was in the military, Monday was the day I took off. If I got a comp day, I always wanted it on a Monday. And how I looked at it, Friday was always the day we got off work early. If we was getting off work early, it was gonna be on a fun day. Uh, fun day, fun day. Eh, a Friday, fun day. Everybody else to sit there, fun day. Yep. I'm saying, everybody on Friday would be packed up, ready to go by a certain time. It's like, man, we just kicking it. I felt like Friday was like, I don't know. Friday was like kicking it in high school. It's like everything cleaned up, everything good. All right, y'all, we'll start releasing y'all slowly. <laughs> hey, you get where I'm coming from. It's like, I ain't letting everybody go home. So then when somebody come down, it's like where everybody at, nah. But hey, as long as you got a crew there and when the last time come you there, what I'm saying is that's too fair. Who care? <laughs> yep. And I wouldn't have a problem with it. I feel like that's how you take care of your people. And that's what I do. And so Monday, that was the day for me. Because everybody would be cool with getting off every other day. Nobody ever complained about it. Well, Monday. I'm saying, think about this. That was the day I never had to argue with nobody about it. Hey, is it cool if I take off this time and you take off this time? Nobody wants a Monday. And what I'm saying is you go out to, look, this is what I'm saying. Get off on Friday. Everybody then got off early or you got off on time. So what? Now, people talking about going out and hanging out. Hey, I ain't going out and hanging out until I, I get off work anyway. So, okay. <laughs> I'll be on time. Will I be more tired? No. I was at work on Friday at a cookout or, or waiting to be released or whatever you want to call it. I was relaxing. I mean, you get where I'm going, even if you're still working. I'm saying it's Friday. Sometimes you got to do catch-up work. Y'all ain't did nothing but started, I don't know, wasting your time. And then what happens? 
hey, you didn't party the whole weekend and you're tired. You tried to use Sunday to recover and it just wasn't enough. But you gotta be back to work on Monday and oh my goodness, you're dragging. And then you're nagging because everybody hates Monday. Oh my goodness, you a double negative on a Monday and that ain't a positive. <laughs> hey, what I'm saying is, if I'm in a bad mood on a Monday, nobody ever knew. Because if I had a chance to take off, that's the day I was taking off. Man. Well, I don't know. I just love Mondays. This is still my favorite day off. Everybody else working, I'm guaranteed to get something done. Because I'm going to walk into your job and I'm going to hear you complaining about how you can't stand being there. And I'm going to put a smile on my face and tell you how much I love seeing you today. And that's going to put a smile on your face. And what I'm saying is, then you look forward to me every Monday. <laughs> hey, that's some crazy stuff. Huh? What I'm saying is, I love Mondays. I do. Hey, I can't wait to get in the pool because that's... It's the day where I ain't got to rush. Normally on like Wednesdays and Fridays, I be in the pool like, I be swimming, I can't be longer than 15 minutes normally on those days. Yeah, you know why? Because I come out here and do this first. <laughs> hey, but it don't matter because this is clearing my head. Hey, but what I'm saying is, on Monday, I mean, I can swim for an hour if I want to. But I tell you, if I do that on Monday, I pay for that junk the whole week. I kid you not, a hard workout on a Monday make you pay for it the whole week in the pool. Hey, the pool drains you. You don't realize it, but it does. I'm telling you, go play in water. Even if you think you're relaxing and you play in it. Afterwards, it feel like you be. It just make you move in slow motion. And I feel like days after a workout, my lungs still be feeling it. Oh yeah, I'm dead serious. Huh? Something good over here. Hey, soon this whole thing gonna be iced over. I hope don't nobody come out here and walk on it this year. <laughs> Even though that ain't deep, it ain't that deep. Not as deep as I thought it was last year. I'm starting to understand out here better. It don't matter. I bet you if you fall through, you still gonna get wetter. Hey, I'm starting to look at what people are doing on YouTube to get views. And, and man, I feel like people be just trolling. And what I mean by that is they put up videos and they tell you they're going to help you solve a problem. And it looks like they're really trying to solve a problem. And then at the end of the video, there was never really a problem. It was just them trying to be funny. But they want to take up like 15 minutes of your life acting like they're really going to teach you something. Hey, there's nothing more frustrating than getting to the end of a video and realizing. <laughs> hey, y'all, what I'm saying is, this is it. We're at the halfway point. You heard what I'm saying to you. If you was thinking it was going to be better than this, what I'm saying is, go ahead and leave right now. <laughs> and this is it. We're halfway there. Now we're heading back. Oh, yeah. This is what my walks are like. So I'm going to make that a fact. I ain't sit here and tell you I was going to cure nothing. I said I was going on a morning walk. I ain't even tell you I was going to talk. <laughs> well, my channel does say Shaw Speaks. Ugh. Not Shaw Walks. So, I need to change the name of my videos to Morning Talks. Ooh, there we go. Really, to me, it's morning. Get out here, clear your head. And record what you say. Yeah. Just getting my thoughts out. I'm sorry if any of them offend you. I told you you could have turned this video off a long time ago. So, what you doing still here? <laughs> I tell you, it's amazing how people instead, they just want to change the way you think. What I'm saying is, I'm sorry if the way that I think doesn't work for everybody else. I think I'm okay. I think that's okay. Yep. 
Was nobody around when I said it. Did I ever even really say it? <laughs> hey. I'll be out here all the time and nobody be around. When that tree falls, it still make a sound. Yep. That's something that's so profound. I'll be here when I don't be. Yep, because I'll be out here in my mind when I'm not out here. What does that mean? Forgive me, guys. Looking around too much. Hey, I got my hood on too. I don't think that's making any special noises. Hey, I'm starting to warm up. Hey, so I done told y'all what I got planned for the day. I'm gonna be busy, by the way. I might try and cut the grass if I can. I'm gonna see if the ground ain't that muddy. It did rain yesterday. If I feel like I can make it, I'm gonna make this the lowest cut of the year and then go ahead and shut it down till next year this time. Well, not this time, but to the spring. I really wanna start getting ready to aerate and stuff like that in my yard. But we're going to have to wait on that kind of stuff. Hey, I got to... Uh, hey, I'd rather just leave some things alone for now. Just give me a little bit of time. I say after the new year, just to be clear. Yep. Uh, yesterday I was walking. I walked past a deer. She stayed put. I guess she laid back down. I came back. After the video, her and her baby stood up and they let me walk right past without them doing or saying nothing. Now, they were both, well, I don't know if the baby, well, I think they were both girls. I don't know. They ain't, there were no antlers. And I know when I see the bucks out here. Ooh. I don't know if they let me get by that close. But I try to just stay on my same trail every day. They know I'm coming this way. Uh-huh. That's why I got this camera slash mic, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use it for a club that day. <laughs> yep. Got this boy solid. Yep. What did that feel like to y'all? Yeah. Because I was going to club something. You record it? Nope. I just dub something. <laughs> uh... I don't want to talk about what I be watching on TV these days. Because I'm always on this first 48. Man. So many people getting caught up in stuff they wasn't even supposed to be there for. Huh. That's a bad thing. Hey. I ain't got nothing else to say. We're going to continue walking this way. We're going to be at the creek faster than you can count to three. <laughs> One, two, give me a few. Ain't that the same as three? Why well, wasn't he at the creek? I don't know. I was walking too slow. But whoop, there we go. Ah, oh, yeah. I want to put the whoop back on. Nope. It was winter time when I started doing that. About this time of year. Nah, it was like in January. But still this time of year. Thanksgiving is getting closer. I just started reaching out to my clients and asking them what they want to do for Thanksgiving. So far, I want to, one want to move, and that's cool. Oh, oh. Hey, the water was a little deeper yesterday. So I got down right here. I think it was right here, up here, up here, up here, and I lean down to get a good shot, and the water went right in my boot. I got a lot of sun water. Ooh, I can't wait to get in that pool. Hey, probably one of my favorite sounds, yeah, by far. That is a fact. I love the sound of water.
Well, hey, I got this. <laughs> I got nothing else, y'all. Man, or do I? Is there something I needed to say? Am I forgetting something? Anything? I told y'all this morning. Man, let me get up out this water. Hey, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't learning. I ain't learning at all. You were slippery. That's what I learned. I kept doing it over and over, thinking it was getting better. It wasn't. It just kept on slipping me up even more. It said it's time for me to go. Goodness. <laughs> hey, uh, I had another beautiful morning walk. I don't know what I was doing, what I was thinking, but I was having fun while I was doing it. There it is. That's as, as irresponsible as I feel like I can get right there. Just go out there and be reckless with my words. Uh-huh. Yep. I just let y'all in on what I was thinking this morning. There it was. Oh, really? That, that, that was it. What you mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you funny. I know they can't hear you. <sighs> so anyway, uh, we here. Another beautiful morning. Hey, for real, though. It was, in my opinion. I don't know what I'd be coming out here to do. That statement would be ever so true. I just come out here to get some exercise. Uh, let it do what it do. I really don't be caring. <laughs> I don't know what I'm even saying right now. I just come out here and I do. I feel like I'm starting to have more and more fun. I feel like, I don't know, like things are just starting to get better. And I don't even know what that means. But, hey. That's what it feels like, so it must be true. Hey, that's how I move. How about you? Hey, uh, much respect, much love. This is your boy. I'm out.